It's time for Show Off Sunday, where everyone has a chance to show off their own car, and here's this week's winner. Hello world, my name's Jake Cabo, and this is my 1962 Studebaker Gran Turismo Hawk. I bought this thing as my first car. My first car! I mean, yeah, my dad to chip in with the shipping payments and all that, but it's still been a fantastic father-son bonding experience. Now, on to the engine. This is Studebaker's aging, but still well-respected, 289 cubic inch V8. The basics of this date back to 1951, and it's an incredibly stout unit, developed somewhere around the neighborhood of 210 Civil War era horses. This car was ordered new by Miss Helen Potter in Sacramento, California, with pow without power steering, but a four-speed manual transmission. Makes things very interesting to drive. Anyway, look at the detail work on this car. You have these beautifully done fender spears here. You've got chrome work around the wheels. You have these lovely hubcaps that were actually the same as those used on checker cabs. Fun fact for you. You have this rakishly designed mirror. You have this lovely fender script here that reads Gran Turismo. No, it's not a Gran Turino. It's Gran Turismo, so, so right there. You have this lovely integrated door handle with a button. Operates just like this. You have this lovely little lock here with a cover for some reason. Not quite sure why it's on there, but it's still interesting. Both the roof and this bit of trim here were both inspired from the Thunderbird of the period. Funny story behind that, actually. This right here, this TT badge, stands for Twin Traction. That's limited slip differential, and it was originally a Packard development that Studebaker simply took and used on the rest of their cars. Now, these taillights. These taillights aren't correct for this car. These chrome units are actually from a 64 GT Hawk. The original 62 would have had painted surrounds, but we think this looks better, so we're keeping it. And now, <laughs> now, just look at this interior. It is a resplendent view of so many different shades of aqua. Now, let's have a sit inside, yeah? This is a lovely aqua interior. You have these ridiculously comfortable bucket seats. You actually have enough room to sit in the rear Moving forward, we have this lovely center console here, lovely chrome shifter. You have this gauge cluster that is amazingly easy to read and beautiful even without the optional tachometer here and clock here. You have this amazing aircraft inspired chrome work here, sort of working AM radio, and this dash plate belonging to Helen M. Potter from Sacramento, California. And it's amazing. Now let's buckle up for safety and get this thing out on the road. Anyway, the GT Hawk was an enigma to the American car scene back in its day. Indeed, back when the Hawk came out in no less than four separate trim levels in 1956, people had been passing this car up for the more commonplace and familiar Thunderbird, Corvette, and the like. Indeed, Cars from the Great British Invasion, such as the Jaguar E-Type, were more prevalent than this. They were great cars to be sure, but they can't claim to be unique. Not when compared to Daisy May here. Anyway, again, this is a remarkable car, and I would like to thank you, Scotty Kilmer, for the opportunity to use your channel, and to all of you out there, for taking the time to learn about an all-too-forgotten car. Now, let's view at the open road, and I'll see you all again shortly. Well, that was this week's video. And remember, to have your car video highlighted here on my channel, check this out. So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.